Hi, Dr. Co. Christian Stevens here, and I'm going to be going over part one of the exam. So let's say we have a bar, and this bar is 50 meters long, and this bar has a thermal diffusivity of one meter squared per second. The has the initial uniform temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, and then the temperature at the left side of the bar is suddenly increased to 50. So the T, so we have over here, it's, it's a 20 all across, and then suddenly it's increased to 50 over here. So while the other sides remain perfectly insulated. And so we are trying to find how the temperature changes along the bar. And this end right here is perfectly insulated. So this end right here will be the same temperature as the part before it. So we're trying to find out how the temperature changes across the bar. So in this, we also know that delta x is equal to one meter, and we know that delta t is equal to one second. So we are going to apply the Crack-Nicholson, Crank-Nicholson equation, excuse my misspe misspeaking. So we're gonna apply this equation. So this equation goes as it's t j n plus one, which is the next temperature at the next time, minus T J N, which is the temperature at the current time that we know, divided by delta T, we know delta T is one second, is equal to alpha, which is the thermal diffusivity, over delta X squared, oh, delta X squared, which we know to be, we also know that value, and this is gonna be times the average of, so this is going to be the, the current temperature, so this is the, so I'll just, this is, I'll explain this in just one sec, I'm gonna write it out. So this is the current temperature. This is the current temperature at the point that we are talking about. This is the left, this is the point to the left of it, and this is the point to the right of it. And we're gonna average this out with the next temperature, which is Tj plus one, n plus one, to t n plus one j plus t n plus one t j minus one. This is all over two. So from here we can say that r is equal to alpha delta t two times delta x squared. We can simplify this equation. This simplifies as the next temperature minus the current temperature is equal to R times the current temperature and the positions, just writing out what we did before, plus the next temperature, just copying what's above. Again, just takes me a little, little time to copy this. And so from here, we can simplify to get on the one side, the next temperature, and on the previous side, the temperature that we know, the current temperature and the next temperature. So we can simplify this to be negative R T N plus one J minus one. Sorry, this is the temperature to the left, plus the current, the temperature that we are looking at, which is N plus one, this is the next temperature though, minus the temperature to the right, of it is equal to R times the current temperature the, to the temperature to the left of the current temperature plus one minus two R. And this is the current temperature and then to the temperature to the right of it. And so now we have this simplification, we can use some matrix, matrices to figure out patterns and determine what the actual final equations we are that we are going to plug into Python to solve to get our graph of these temperatures. So we know that the matrices of the next temperature, n plus one, is equal to the matrices of the current temperature. So at T0, T1, T2, T3, all the way down to our last temperature. T0, T1, T2, T3, all the way down. So let's start with the temperatures that we need to know next. The next temperatures. So we first start with this. We do not know to the point of the left of this because it's, we don't know this is the next temperature and we don't know the point to the left of it. So we're gonna start with one plus two R 
minus r because we can find the next one after it because we know this one. And then the rest after that is going to be zeros. The next line, we know the previous temperature, we know the temperature to the left, so it's gonna be minus r. And then it's gonna be once again r1 plus 2r and then minus r. And so now we can see that a pattern's forming. So as we go along, it's gonna keep being the minus r's all the way down to the bottom. It's gonna be one plus two r's down, and it's gonna be minus r down, and it's gonna keep going down. These three are gonna be a pattern. Except for the last part, which is not going to be the same. At the last, this very last point, it's actually gonna be one plus r because of the fact that we do not we only know this side. If we knew both sides, it'd be one plus two R, but we only know this side, and this side we know is the same as temperature from before. So we know this is going to be one plus R. So now we know this side of our matrix on the pattern that's following generally, and we know what's happening. Now we need to find our equation for the other side. This is the side that we know. This is the current side. So we know for this side, we know these temperatures because this is the current one. This is the it's not n plus anything, it's just n. So we have r, t, j, t, j minus one plus one minus two r, t, j, n plus r, t, n, j plus one. So we know that to be true because we have all of these temperatures. And we can also add the t and left because we know the leftmost temperature it is given to us and this is the current temperature. And as we go down, this equation is going to hold through T. It's going to be R, J minus 1 plus uh, 1 minus 2R, T, N, J plus T, N, J plus 1. All the way down to the bottom. But once again, it is going to change if we're going to have R, T, J, N plus 1 minus R. Because once again, we don't know this side, but we do know this side. So it's minus R instead of minus 2R plus r t n j plus one and this time we're going to add the right side which is r so we know that it ends up being r t j n we know that the end is going to be r t j n plus one minus r T, J, J, N plus T, J, T, N, right, because we know the right side. And so now that we know these, we can go into Python and actually use the code to solve for what the temperature at this end is going to be and what temperatures along all of them are going to be and make a graph.